Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to show you how I build a video rig with my preferred camera when it comes to shooting movies um, and YouTube videos. I do a lot of travel videos. If you haven't seen those, I'll put a link down to the actual playlist where you can see them. Most of them are filmed with Fujifilm. I did shoot with other brands too, but really happy today because I wanted to share with you what could be probably my ultimate video rig for now. It'll evolve for sure, but for me, it serves my needs and I really, really enjoy using that setup, whether it's here in the studio or when I travel. So without further ado, let's deep dive into my video rig with the Fujifilm X-H2S. Okay, so first off, what I highly recommend, and by the way, all these products will be linked down below if you want to go see them and buy them for yourself. And this is by no means the kit that will fit for all and everybody's needs. But for me, like I said, this is my recommendation for now. So the first one is the camera. So I'm using the Fujifilm X-H2S. Really like the body, really like the handling, that flippy or flip out and flip down screen very useful when you film videos because you can really see what you're filming you can even film yourself when you travel and so on and so forth and then you can protect it when it's not in use so that's my camera for the lens i really enjoy and this is a lens i recently rebought really like the fujifilm 16 to 55 i tried using other lenses i tried using the tamron i tried using the Sigma one, but I mean, although this one is, you know, super big when you compare it to other options down there, um, this one actually does the trick. It's a bit on the heavy side, but once it's paired on the Fujifilm X-H2S, let me show you right away. Like so, it actually is a package that's very manageable and it doesn't feel necessarily front heavy and it gives you that nice range of a 24 to 70 or 24 to 84, I think it is uh, equivalent. Really like this body, really like this lens. This is the base of my video rig setup. Then I discovered something uh, that I didn't know, you know, if I were to like it or not, but now I can't live without it. And it is some cages. So Small Rig was kind enough to send me the one for the Fujifilm X-H2S. And I highly recommend the Small Rig products. They always fit well and they always actually, you know, you feel snug, you feel protected when you put it on. The camera not you although if you use it for self-defense it might be useful but i always thought that these products actually and i was buying small rig before they were you know wanting me to test some stuff so this is not a sponsored video but this is just small rig wanting me to test it for this new camera so the the one for the xh2s looks like this and the way you actually use those cages that you take your camera without the lens and i recommend putting the cap but i like to live dangerously uh, so you just slide it in like that and as you can see it will fit very snugly in there there's no like you don't have to push it you don't have to fiddle around it actually fits right there at the bottom you can see that there's a screw and this is where the main action will begin with this small rig cage so right here i'm using the that's the other thing that's cool about the small rig i think the other companies now have it too but the little tool that you need to screw the uh, the bottom plate is actually included and it's magnetic so you don't lose it uh, hopefully you don't use it uh, so there you go you just screw that in and this is with the main little screw here that is already included like i said and the tool to do it is already included too you don't have to do it to overdo it but just make sure it's very snug in there and where you get even more protection is by this little thing that also comes with the actual small rig cage you just put it in the the strap mount that is usually used to put the strap but they made a little blockage or a little um, lock that you can put here so it gives it an extra point of security right here and there's a little screw that comes with it and still the tool same tool it allows you to do all the screws that are coming with it so let me just go in and screw that uh, let's see how that goes i think we're done one two three there you go so we are now secured here we're also secured at the bottom so that's very 
good to know. And also there is a third one and this is a little pin that is under it and it gives you a third point of security. This is a small screw too, same thing. You use the same tool to go in there and to screw it in the actual camera and the camera now is snug and secured and you don't, you know, it gives you an extra protection for the actual camera too and you don't feel like it's gonna fall off because of all those points of um, security. I'm gonna put the little tool back to its place. So now we've got our cage, we've got our camera that's secured. Now let's put the lens back on. This is my 16 to 55, like I said, 2.8 from Fujifilm. And it's a weather seal lens, just like the body. So I'm not afraid to bring that into the action, whether it's snowing or if there's, you know, some, some, some sand and so on and so forth. I do a lot of beach photography and videography. So I like to use something that's weather seal. So that's the main um, video rig that I use, the core, I should say, of it. And now um, what we'll need is a nice handle. And this is also from Small Rig. Again, I'll put the links down below if you want to use something similar. I know that Newer also makes some, so you have plenty of choice. But I found that these uh, Small Rig ones, they all, they all just fit very well. And this is an example of the handle that you can put on top right here. And all of a sudden you have a very manageable, very malleable, type of setup where you know you can do low angles like that and if you have your screen that's tilt out then it's very easy you know like to do some nice little pans like that and it also gives you extra stuff that i'm going to talk about right away so you've got on there a place to put a microphone so i've got a microphone here that is a bit more on the affordable side and I really, really like it. You've got so many options these days to put microphones on there. Uh, but here's an example of how you can use the hot shoe mount that is on, or the cold shoe, should I say, mount, that is on top. You can secure it like so. And then you take the little input here for the microphone. And there you go. You've got a, this is the Duo Diddy from, from Diddy, actually, the Duo, I think it's the Duo 4, something like that. Uh, you get one front microphone if you remove the dead tag here. So you've got your front microphone and you've got one back microphone. So the problem when you when you want to do like vlogging and stuff, sometimes you want to talk to the camera, but the microphone doesn't hear you because, or it's like muffled sound because it's only in the front. But here you've you got uh, left channel and right channel. They're separate. I don't know if you can change that, but I really enjoy it because then I can take the tracks. I can make a mono track or I can have separate tracks for, again, depending if, if I want to measure the back uh, vocals or the front vocals or whatever I'm filming. So that's pretty much the uh, audio. And uh, what if we wanted to up our game a notch? So this is on the road, a very efficient little kit here with the handle, with the cage, with the lens and the XH2S, and of course the mic that, you know, you can see it's very portable. But what if, we wanted to bring our YouTube game to the next level. Right now I'm filming on an X-T5 hooked up to a monitor. It's an old monitor that I have. But the good folks at Shimbal, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's, you know, sometimes I, all these companies, I have a hard time uh, remembering how they pronounce it. And um, I think that one is right, Shimbal. Uh, they sent me a, a monitor that I'm very excited about. And now I'm looking for my little knife. There you go. They sent me a monitor and monitor for me, I'm a bit new, I'm a bit uh, green, I should say, on that front because again, I'm using a, this is a newer type of monitor. It's not even 4K, um, it's just a 1080p version. Might actually be even lower res than that. But uh, this Shimbo one has a lot of features that, you know, just um, regular monitors don't have. So let me, let me dive in and see what is in that box. Let's see here, did it work? Yeah. There you go. Let's see here. Okay. So again, thank you, Shimbo, for sending this one. If you guys want a, a review on that, this is by no mean a review today, but I just wanted to show you the rig before I talk about, you know, why I find that these are interesting builds. But if you want a review on those, I can definitely do that. And it would be a pleasure to report back on it. So that's the monitor, that's the shimbal, and it is, this is the Z0600M. 
are those zeros? I don't know. All these names from these companies, it's getting hard to follow. Shimbo monitor. Let's see what what's in it. It's part of the the Zolink series. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but I uh, I've seen a couple of reviews online, and it seems to be an affordable option. Like this is not your Ninja, or this is not your you know 4K small uh, HD and so on and so forth. This is a, a way more affordable option. And let's see what we have. We have a very nice monitor here. It also takes batteries right here. I'll put the on screen the name of the batteries that uh, you can use with that. I think those are Sony regular batteries that you can use on other types of screens or LCD. Yep. So again, this is the Shimbal and this is the Z06 OOM. And if you look at it, there is little plastic here. I will leave it on because I don't want to wreck it now. What I use is another tool from Small Rig. There you go. You have it here that I can screw in directly into the monitor. It's a very light monitor. That's what I like. And uh, again, apparently it has all the, the things that m video monitors have like false colors and you can control the camera from here, which I cannot do with the one that I'm currently using. But the cool part with this little thingy here is that you can use it to put on your actual rig. So instead of putting the microphone here, like I did in my original rig, I can actually put it on the side. This is the other cool part about this cage, is that there's multiple options for you to work with when it comes to positioning your stuff on it. And let's see it here. This is pretty cool because you now use the same cold shoe right here. And I can secure it right at the bottom. Just make sure it's not moving. There you go. So you've got your video here. If you want to see yourself, oh my God, almost broke it. That's very good. <laughs> not very good. And you can of course do the following like this. So now when you film, you have a pretty high res monitor. You can control your camera right from the monitor and it's on your actual rig. So I find this to be very, very efficient small monitor mounted directly on the handle from the small rig cage. Then you've got your audio right here and you've got the camera in the cage. Let me show you one last thing about this build that I really like. Um, there is another option for audio and this one is more of a pro option. So if you are very inclined to have the best audio possible on your video rig. And this is what I actually use for my YouTube videos. Not right now because I wanted to show it to you, but let me show you another option for video. The cool part about the X-H2S and X-T5 and even the X-T4 is that the hot shoe is actually compatible with a series of things that are communicating with the camera without any wires. So what I like about the rig that I'm gonna show you is that it's clean the preamps on these little inputs are incredible, better than the camera. And it's called the Tascam, and I get to put my glasses on when I read stuff now, that's what happens when you're 40 plus years old. It's called the caxlr 2 d and this is the one for Fujifilm. Make sure you choose the one for Fujifilm, I'll put the link down below if you wanna get it. But you can just put it in, attach it, and all of a sudden you've got two XLR input right here. So you can put a high dynamic uh, microphone like this one that I'm putting on frame right now that I'm using for my videos. Again, not using it right now. I'm using the Rode Wireless Go or Rode Wireless something. <laughs> Wireless Go, I think. Um, but when I'm doing like more serious video videos, I take this, I plug it in, and then you can actually send a digital signal to the camera. The preamps are incredibly uh, better than what the camera will give you and you can even if you don't have an XLR microphone Which by the way they can uh, uh, it can also uh, output Phantom power so you have a high dynamic mic that requires phantom power it will deliver it But you so in, on top of the two inputs you also get you also get an input input for um, a, a eight, 8 inch 1 8 of an inch uh, type of, uh, of connection so you can actually use your wireless mic go and put it in there and actually bring it to the camera so there is an analog aspect of it that you can use you don't 
absolutely have to rely on just the digital aspect of it. So that makes it a bit more bulky, but again, I really enjoy the quality of this Tascam little interface that only uses the hot shoe and doesn't have to rely on any cable to go from here to the camera. It's actually communicating directly through the hot shoe and it's communicating digitally. In the camera, you'll be presented with an, uh, an option in there to manage this little you know, intelligent device. And it's really well done, really simple and really intuitive. So there you have it, folks. This is my video rig for 2023, at least. Maybe it'll evolve. I'll let you know if you want a review on this new monitor symbol. I will do it. I will let you know. I haven't used it yet. I'm using another monitor right now. But again, I found that this is a very affordable option in comparison to what's on the market. And Small Ring, thank you so much, Small Ring, for sending me the cage so I can show it to my audience. I am a big fan of the company. And also thank you, Shimbo, for the monitor. I will put links down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. And I've been Fred Ranger. Please be happy, enjoy life, and enjoy your video rig. Cheers.